Uh, with Ansible, uh, yeah, we, we, we shrunk the time to uh, half an hour uh, for all the 20 servers. <coughs> Uh, the other thing is the higher level of abstraction, and uh, what I mean with this is um, to provision new functionality, uh, you, uh, you need the smartest people to write the scripts. I'll do the first talk uh, this, uh, this evening. Um, it will be about Ansible and managed hosting, and uh, how True uses Ansible in uh, uh, their uh, environment to support customers. But first of all, uh, welcome here at our uh, office building at the Keijenbergweg. Uh, we just uh, settled in here for six months and uh, this is one of the reasons we chose this location uh, because we can host large parties uh, of uh, enthusiastic people uh, in the open source community to share the knowledge uh, uh, both, uh, both ways, uh, what we see and what you see and that we can talk about it. Uh, this talk will be not that technical but I will just sketch broadly how we use Ansible uh, for our customers. Uh, if you have any technical questions, please uh, uh, ask me, but uh, I will ask one of my colleagues to answer them. So um, you can interrupt me if you have any, any questions. Uh, the introduction uh, will uh, come after this. Uh, I will tell uh, briefly about uh, you know, what kind of customers uh, uh, we have. Uh, the use cases we see and, and use Ansible for. Uh, uh, we tip in shortly what we think are the disadvantages of uh, Ansible uh, at this time, and I will uh, yeah, summarize uh, the, the, the earlier things. Uh. About me, my name is Jan Paul van Burstede. Uh, I founded the company almost uh, 15 uh, years ago. I'm 34 years old, uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, yeah. My GitHub profile, not really much to see over there. Uh, about True, it's a managed hosting provider, uh, founded in 2000. We started off with uh, uh, co-location, bandwidth, and uh, since 2005 we focused uh, purely on managed hosting for mission-critical websites and applications. Uh, since uh, then we, uh, we, we grew uh, a bit, uh, currently approximately 40 uh, employees. Our customers are highly uh, dependent on uh, their online uh, presence. Web applications uh, are uh, responsible for one uh, or more core processes in their organization. 70% um, of the platforms consist of uh, 6 to 10 servers, so that's yeah, more or less the, the size of a typical uh, customer environment. Each platform is custom built and has unique uh, configurations, so uh, everything is more or less tailor-made. It consists about the, the same building blocks, but each building block is, is really tailored to the customer's needs. Uh, our customers rely and choose for us because of the yeah, vast uh, knowledge we have about hosting websites and web applications and the best practices uh, we use for it. The use cases we have for Ansible uh, are uh, our own uh, virtualization infrastructure. Um, in 2009, uh, we choose to build our own infrastructure for it, based on KVM and uh, uh, some uh, tools on the Linux uh, uh, command line interface, and wrote uh, a nice management interface uh, over it. Um, the other uh, use case for Ansible are resellable end-user environments. Um, you, yeah, it's, it's more or less where the customer has a concept, and for each installed customer he needs a specific amount of service with the configuration, for example, hosted uh, VoIP uh, offerings. And uh, the other use case is scaling, where an application or a website uh, has to grow and uh, shrink uh, when uh, the load is increasing or decreasing. Uh, a nice example we have for this is a fireworks distributor that uh, does nothing 11 months in a year, and then in the last month of the year, then it goes very, very fast uh, uh, very quickly because everybody has to order uh, uh, their uh, stock. Uh, if we zoom in on the virtualization infrastructure, uh, uh, it's used for hardware servers. And I think most of the time uh, Ansible will be used to roll out virtual servers, but we use it in this case uh, for hardware servers. Um, we have multiple versions <coughs> of the platform itself because uh, we made also iterations on the platform from lessons learned. So currently uh, we have three versions of the virtualization platform. 
uh, that we manage uh, from out uh, Ansible. And uh, if you have a virtualization platform, it's very important that the configuration and everything is consistent uh, across every server. Because if you move a VM, uh, uh, you should be able to trust that it's going to work as well on the old host as it's on the new host. Uh, another thing that Ansible really helps us with is uh, the hardware comes in batches. You get a large uh, shipment from Dell and uh, in the old days we have to go to the data center, use a CD, uh, uh, run some scripts, do some manual configuring and uh, in the end also do uh, manual control. So uh, every server will, uh, will take a bit of six hours I think if you uh, look at the whole process. So if you uh, get in 20 servers yeah, you can figure out it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of time before the server is in production. Uh, with Ansible, uh, yeah, we, we shrunk the time to yeah, half an hour uh, for all the 20 servers, <coughs> excluding wrecking them. But uh, it's a really time saver and also helps in the previous points. Um, if we look at resellable and customer environments, uh, for the customer it's important that he ships his software with the infrastructure uh, be needed and uh, he should trust that the versions are according uh, what he uh, was uh, uh, looking for and uh, it's predictable. Uh, changes are uh, rolled out uh, centralized and also controlled. You have uh, once or twice a month uh, you have an update round and you can update all the servers uh, that's being installed for that customer. And also when uh, our customers uh, have a new client uh, there's a very short period between uh, the signing of the contract and uh, our time to deliver the platform where the customer is hosted on. If I'm going too fast, uh, just let me know. And uh, the last thing is, is scaling. Uh, what I said with the fireworks uh, distributor, um, it's, uh, uh, in, in that case you can see the, the load coming, but sometimes you don't see the load coming. For example, if you have a marketing campaign, it's always last minute. This really, this really helps to, to scale out the platform uh, when needed. Um, a nice uh, thing with Ansible, we can also put in hooks for checkouts and uh, scripts that uh, run after uh, the server is being provisioned. And another nice uh, feature is that we can uh, update uh, platforms that are being used 24 hours a day and we can uh, update the platform under load. So we can uh, provision new servers with the new software, switch to that software and then decommission the old servers. And another nice thing is uh, we're a Dutch provider with the Dutch the private or public cloud, just how you want to see it, but it's in our own uh, data centers, our own infrastructure. Uh, so for sensitive data, uh, uh, we use our own uh, infrastructure, but we also can leverage public cloud uh, infrastructures. You think at uh, AWS or Azure, if it's uh, really going to be a, a high volume of traffic uh, on those. And uh, Ansible makes it very easy for us to also use those platforms. And, uh, roll them out as it's uh, our own. The disadvantages of uh, uh, Ansible as we see it is the maturity. Um, we, we see some backwards compatibility issues if we move a large version then some scripts have to be rewritten and uh, yeah, sometimes we encounter little bugs where he says everything is okay and then we check the server and it's not okay so that's really <laughs> really annoying but uh, yeah uh, it's, uh, it comes with, uh, with software under development. Uh, the other thing is the higher level of abstraction and uh, what I mean with this is um, to provision new functionality uh, you, uh, you need the smartest people to write the scripts, think everything through and on the other side you have people using the scripts and there's something in between and uh, with that level of abstraction um, uh, yeah, you can lose some knowledge uh, on one part and be very reliant on knowledge on the other part so that, that can be a bit of a disadvantage. Uh, not all our customers have a DTAP uh, environment, so when rolling out uh, a change, yeah, sometimes it's a bit scary, but yeah, it's more or less the customer's uh, uh, risk at that point. But we encourage customers to at least have an acceptance uh, street that's re representative of the production environment, but if they don't have it, Ansible is going to be a bit risky. And that brings us to the last point, mistakes have big impact. If you write a script and you roll it out on a large amount of servers and you missed one thing or one typo, it's going to be replicated to all the servers. So that's, uh, yeah, you always have to have four eyes or uh, people looking with you to, uh, to see if everything's going well. Summarizing, 
Uh, the big advantage of, uh, of Ansible is uh, it's almost like shell scripting. Uh, some say it's even easier. Um, it, uh, it makes uh, it for us easier to manage uh, a bigger uh, homogeneous environments. And uh, it helps us to uh, uh, yeah, make the deploy times uh, a bit quicker. Uh, also, increasing of agility, where uh, we have to install an additional plugin for our website. Uh, we have to do it in one place, roll it out, and every web server is, uh, is being uh, deployed with the same uh, plugin. And uh, also very convenient is that uh, things that uh, we used to have to do on every server separately, we can uh, do it with one comment and do it on every server, so uh, less manual work. Uh, so the, the challenges that, uh, that uh, are left for us, uh, we can really uh, think about uh, and we don't um, yeah, have to work and type everything separately. And if you look at everything combined, it helps us to make a more uh, attractive managed hosting uh, offering so that uh, we can translate to the customer in better quality, a better price. So that's uh, the talk. Thank you. Any questions? How many servers do you have in total? Um, I think uh, that we manage, it's uh, almost 2,000. You push from single console to all of them at the same time? Uh, yeah. That question I have to redirect to one of my colleagues. <laughs> Do we have a single console where we use Ansible? Just push the old console and send it. No? Okay. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you.